program. Shoppers who want to save have to come to Lucky. Life-saving cancer detection. The Breast Center on Action News tonight at 11. This is Action News for all of Southern California with Bree Walker and Michael Tuck. Now, Channel 2 Action News Nightcast. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Here's what's happening. The mother of a baby boy abandoned in Hollywood is in custody tonight. She was picked up by vice officers in the Rampart Division. Penny Griego is in the newsroom with more. Penny. Bree, police have known since yesterday exactly who they were looking for. Tracy Noah Zielski. Her estranged husband had come forward after seeing his little son in news reports. What a beautiful boy you are. 15-month-old Timothy Richards is healthy and mostly happy despite his three-day ordeal. It was at 4 o'clock Monday morning that the toddler was found abandoned outside a Hollywood apartment building. He was in a shopping cart, a piece of cardboard, his makeshift cradle. Timothy's mother had not been seen since a Mother's Day barbecue. She has some personal problems, uh, but as we understand, the day that she uh, left the barbecue, that uh, she was uh, somewhat despondent over uh, the death of her mother. Today, 24-year-old Tracy Nowazilski was arrested. Police from Rampart Division say they saw her picture on TV and recognized her from previous run-ins with the law. They were able to track her down and pick her up. Meantime, little Timothy remains in protective custody. <laughs> Tonight, police are telling us that Noah Zielski is saying that she did not abandon the baby, that she had, had actually given the baby to her boyfriend or husband. They're not sure they're going to be talking to her tomorrow. In the meantime, she is in jail on charges of child endangerment, willful desertion. She's expected to be in court on Monday. Free? All right, Penny. Thank you. A 13-year-old boy with cystic fibrosis has a new chance at life tonight. Today, his parents gave up parts of their own lungs for a life-saving transplant operation. AccuNews has the story. We're live at the scene at Children's Hospital right now with our Joe Avalar. Joe? Well, Michael, this is only the second time this operation has ever been performed in the world. And if it works, little Chad Morris will have a normal life. Underneath these surgeons is a little boy. They're working hard to save his life because without this operation... Well, Chad was going to die. Uh, it might have been a matter of weeks. It might have been a matter of months. But Chad was on that downhill slope. 13-year-old Chad Morris has cystic fibrosis, a genetic disease one doctor says gums up the lungs with so much mucus the child can't breathe. His sister Corey told us about Chad's life. He has to have therapy every night with a mask and then pounding on his chest so he can cough up the stuff and he has to get up at 5 30 in the morning and he's not gonna have to do that anymore this past year he's been getting really bad that's why he had the surgery and he had to go on oxygen and he's not gonna have to have the oxygen at night anymore doctors are replacing chad's two diseased lungs with one donated from his mother and one donated from his father it's like giving birth again because that's what you do you give life back one more time uh, to children who are dying from this disease process. And I, I think they're just incredibly courageous to do this. And what about the little boy whose parents are risking their lives to save? He's always wanted me to go wherever he's wanted to go when he was scared. And when we went up to the seventh floor for his surgery this morning, I could tell that he was scared, but he was really happy because he'll finally be able to breathe. What are you going to tell him when you see him? I don't know, that I love him. <laughs> That's what I said to him right before he went into surgery. Well, we only have good news to add to this story. His sister has seen him. Chad is resting comfortably. He's in critical but stable condition on a respirator, but I'm told that's to be expected. And again, he's resting comfortably. As for his parents, they too are doing well and resting comfortably. Oh, Michael? Good. Right. What, what a neat a, story. What a loving yeah. family. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joe. Former entertainer Sonny Bono says he fears a man who has been stalking him for years. Bono, who's also the former mayor of Palm Springs, of course, says a man named James Hamlin has been making death threats and terrorizing his family. Bono is asking for an injunction against Hamlin. Now, according to police, Hamlin is a transient with emotional problems. Bono also says he's gotten a concealed weapons permit so he can protect himself.
Two apparently related drive-by shootings leave one man dead tonight and two others wounded. The first shooting happened just after 5 o'clock here on West Queen Street in Englewood. An 18-year-old was hit. Then 10 minutes later, two men were shot near the DMV office on La Brea. A 19-year-old was killed there. His friend is in critical condition. Police suspect the same people were responsible for both shootings. Police are waiting until morning to resume talks with a masked gunman who is holding seven hostages at a French nursery school. Top French officials are on the scene in a wealthy Paris suburb. The gunman has already freed 14 children, but is still holding six kids and one teacher hostage. He is demanding more than $18 million and refuses to take part tonight in any more negotiations. He says he has a bomb. Your taxes could be one step closer to going up tonight. The House Ways and Means Committee has given final approval to President Clinton's tax plan. It contains one of the biggest tax increases in history, including higher rates for the rich, an energy tax that will hit the middle class, and higher rates for corporations. Lawmakers made only a few minor changes to the president's plan. Based on what I know, I'm very satisfied. I'm immensely pleased. All the basic features of the bill remain intact. And many of the changes that were made, I think, made it a better bill. Now, this is not just a tax bill. The measure also makes major cuts in spending. A $10,000 reward is being offered tonight to catch the clever crooks who pulled off an ATM scam. The Secret Service says the thieves put a phony ATM at a Connecticut mall and recorded customers' account numbers and secret codes. And using that information, they made illegal withdrawals, totaling $52,000. Investigators expect to make arrests within 48 hours. Fierce fighting continues tonight in Bosnia. A massive offensive by Serbs leaves Muslims desperately trying to hold on at one key northern city. And sporadic fighting erupts for the fifth straight day between Croats and Muslims in southern Mustar. Thick smoke billowed over the city as the one-time allies battled from building to building. Bosnian Serbs vote this weekend on a referendum on the UN peace plan it's expected to lose. Violent clashes tonight on a college campus in Juarez, Mexico. It happened at an agricultural college. It started when a group of students opened fire on a rival group and took over a campus building. Riot police stormed the college and ousted the students. There were a number of arrests. During the disturbance, several cars and buses were set on fire. With less than a month to go before the election, the candidates for L.A. mayor are stepping up their campaigns tonight. Both men appeared before the Chamber of Commerce today. Dick Reardon and Mike Wu appeared separately before the business leaders. But their messages were similar. L.A. must get its economic act together. We have to make L.A. safe, and we have to make it friendly. If we do those two things, business will come back to L.A. It's very clear to me that unless we make the economy right up at the top of our priority list for the next mayor of Los Angeles, the city is not going to be worth living in. The general election, by the way, is set for June the 8th. Up next, a startling new twist tonight involving a mom, a murderer, and an accused child molester. We'll take you live to El Centro, where nearly 200 illegal Chinese immigrants are facing a very uncertain fate. And they tried to get high on a different kind of weed, but they could have died. The story, next. Channel 2 Action News is sponsored in part by Mazda. Mazda, it just feels right. They said the Roadster was extinct, but we made the Mazda Miata anyway. Because some people might agree that driving for the fun of it should never vanish. It isn't normal to get a V6 in a sports coupe this size, but that's how we build the Mazda MX-3 GS because we just thought something a little unexpected might appeal to you. In Southern California, when you want news now, turn to KFWB News 98, the only 24-hour news. He's amazing, Mom. He's just amazing. One free 10-minute call to anyone every month. He's got a, a personality. For the rest of the year. Yeah. Mom, I'm a little worried. Just think of all the calls you can make. He's teething. It's MCI's gift to all friends and family members, even those who join now. Say hi, Grandma. Come. Come to my birthday party. Tell us who you'd like to call free. Anyone, anywhere. Even if they're not an MCI customer. The Brita Water Filtering Pitcher. To operate, turn on the tap. The tap water flows through Brita's replaceable filter. 
and lead are dramatically reduced. Chlorine taste and odor virtually eliminated. But even if you don't remember how Brita works, you'll never forget how Brita tastes. Available at Fedco and Payless. They follow you home. I came home from the market. They find out where you live. The door flew out of my hand. Then they rob you blind. My hand just covered my mouth. Are you an easy target for follow home robberies? I always look in my rearview mirror. Channel 2's David Horowitz tells you how to take action if you think you're being followed. I saw them watching me. Follow home robberies. Quick, turn on Channel 2 Action News tomorrow at 11. There are new allegations tonight about Ellie Nestler. She, of course, the mother who took the law into her own hands not long ago. Prosecutors now say the Sonora woman used the drug Crank, a methamphetamine, the day she killed the man accused of molesting her young son. 35-year-old David Driver was shot five times during a courtroom recess. And this other new twist tonight, Nestler's lawyer says she will plead temporary insanity. Right now, she is free on bail. Local immigration officials are confronting a troubling question tonight. What to do with nearly 200 Chinese immigrants smuggled into a Southern California port? Action News has the story, live on the scene in El Centro with our Marianne Cushy. Marianne. Bree, the processing of undocumented immigrants is still going on here at the center in El Centro. It is a process that could take several more days before it is all over. The risk was high and they lost. 175 of the nearly 200 undocumented Chinese immigrants who set sail on a perilous journey to freedom are now locked up in detention. The smuggled immigrants didn't eat very well during their two-week journey. A lot of rice and some fish, a bland diet. So by the time they got here, they were hungry. Now they are being fed three times a day. The surroundings are strange. The food is foreign. Dinner is chili macaroni, jalapeno peppers, dessert, Italian ice. They could be detained at the El Centro Processing Center for several days. There are only a half dozen interpreters to help fingerprint, photograph, and interview them. Many of the undocumented immigrants will likely declare political asylum. They could get out on bond until a hearing date. According to INS officials, however, 75% never show up. The group was smuggled in from Fujian province in China, where lately hundreds of Chinese have fleed in overloaded vessels to the land of the free, the U.S. Now that freedom has been put on hold. Now the facility here in El Centro only takes care of men. There were 18 women aboard that vessel. They are being held in a San Diego facility, as well as the eight crew members and six who are accused of smuggling and Brie, They will most likely be charged with alien smuggling. All right. Well, watch this one develop. Thank you, Marianne. Four Orange County teenagers are recovering tonight after a tough go of it after they reportedly tried to get high on a poisonous weed. Now, all four boys were unconscious when police got there this morning. They had apparently been drinking tea made out of Jimson weed. That plant grows wild in Southern California and it's everywhere you look. The mother of one of the boys says the teenagers thought it would be a cheap high. It's a free high because they can go out and pick this. But there was a price. Doctors say Jimson weed does indeed cause hallucinations, but it can also be deadly. Two of those boys were under intensive care. All four, though, are expected to recover. Topping tonight's Action News Health Watch, talk of more warning labels, this time involving liquor. There's growing interest on Capitol Hill on putting health and safety messages in all alcohol advertising. The goal, to help drive home the message that alcohol abuse can be harmful, even deadly. The liquor industry is opposed to the warning measure, saying there's no scientific basis for such warnings. A new study says airbags definitely do save lives. Researchers estimate that driver's side airbags alone reduce fatalities by nearly 20 percent. Experts say this is especially true for accidents involving large cars. An estimated 10 percent of all cars in the U.S. have airbags now. Some promising news tonight on the easing of the suffering of some AIDS patients. A new approach to treat patients with severe Kaposi sarcoma appears to give temporary relief of some of the symptoms. The treatment involves fat molecules loaded with anti-cancer drugs that go in and attack the cancer cells without damaging the healthy ones. And that wraps up tonight's Health Watch.
You know, this is the time of the week when Steve Rambo starts to get very serious about his weather forecasting. That's so he joins it. us now with a serious That's forecast. Right. You know why? <laughs> I know We're weekend's looking. coming up. <laughs> everybody's got the pressure. Oh, the pressure's pushed me right out of my shot. Yes, sir. Everybody looking towards the weekend. But it's going to be a pleasant weekend. Going to warm things up for you a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Start right now. 76, the afternoon high. 55, the low this morning. It's about normal. We'll stay there for one more day. Eh, no, we won't even do that for one more day. We're going to go warmer beginning with tomorrow. Let's show you why. It's the area of high pressure that's moving in from the southwest, helping to kick the upper level low finally out of here. Slowly has it moved. It's been here all week. We've been watching it. And look, it only moved about, well, maybe 150, 200 miles during the whole day today in the last 24 hours. This high has developed, though, and it's pushing up, and it's going to continue to give us the fair weather over the Southern California region for at least another 24 to 48 hours. And then the low clouds start coming back in with some foggy conditions as the high gets centered over us. Then the marine layer will come entrenched and we'll start to feel the effects of that in the coastal sections. But all in all, no big changes. Now, until the high gets over the top of us, we can expect our skies to remain mostly clear. The winds light and the lows in the upper 50s. They'll range over from about, uh, let's see, 60 degrees in Torrance to about 54 at Burbank. Crest line around 39 degrees for tonight. And then for tomorrow, lots of sunshine, a little bit of patchy cloudiness along the coast, downtown highs in the lower 80s. But as we check some other temperatures around the Southland, you'll see Alhambra will get to 83, Malibu 73, Ontario 85, Palm Springs about 101, and Big Bear at 75. And over the next five days, it only gets better, folks. Look at this. The lows in the 50s, the highs in the 80s, right into the weekend. We may start cooling off a bit the first of the week. That the result of the low clouds pushing into the valleys, and that's going to keep us down just a tad. There you go, right through Tuesday. What do you think? How we do? Just a little night and morning, low cloudiness. Yeah, but that won't really until nice. Monday. All righty. All right. I think you did real good. We're yeah. trying. <laughs> An Arizona cotton farmer who proved he knows when to hold them and knows when to fold them is a big winner tonight. Jim Bechtel is a million dollars richer tonight after being crowned the world poker champ. 220 gamblers entered the high stakes game, putting up 10,000 bucks apiece. No word yet on what the champ plans on doing with all that cold, hard cash. He'll find something. I'm sure. <laughs> Still ahead, I'll have tonight's cover story. High technology joins the fight against breast cancer. Plus, is wearing a condom a defense against a rape charge? We'll have the jury's decision next. A lot of airlines fly to Europe, but only TWA gives you room to stretch out and relax to Europe's most exciting cities. TWA replaced Coach with Comfort Class to give you the most legroom of any airline to Europe at no extra cost. We're even adding footrests, so you'll not only enjoy Europe, you'll enjoy the flight. The exciting savings continue at Circuit City's 44th Anniversary Sale. Save on video, like this Zenith 25-inch TV with remote, just $299. Or this VCR with remote, only $147. And save on portables, get your choice. This Sony CD boombox or this Sony Discman portable CD player, a low $119 each. Don't miss Circuit City's 44th Anniversary Sale. Welcome to Circuit City, where service is state-of-the-art. The Ross Storewide Clearance. Prices have been reduced dramatically throughout the store. Great savings for men, women, and kids. The Ross Storewide Clearance, now. Dave's the funniest movie of the year. Time Magazine calls it Women, Newsweek, Fun. Okay, let's get back to work. Whoa! Rolling Stone, Irresistible, USA Today, Hilarious, Good Morning America, Great. The New York Times, Delightful, and Siskel and Ebert give Dave two thumbs up. Do I need to tell nine? Kevin Klein, Sigourney Weaver, Dave, and Ivan Reitman film rated PG-13. Now playing at a theater near you. For the engineers building LA's Metro Rail, the goal isn't to just build a system that carries 200,000 commuters a day. It's to do it in only five years. Since it takes 2,000 phone calls a day to keep the project on track, Pacific Bell connected the Metro's six engineering firms to Centrix, the only phone system that's maintained 24 hours a day at Pacific Bell. It seems each company was inspired by the same idea. 
He almost got away with it. But tonight, a Texas man is behind bars after being convicted in the so-called condom rape case. A jury found Joel Valdez guilty of rape after deliberating just two and a half hours today. He had argued that it wasn't rape because his victim asked him to wear a condom. She was afraid he had AIDS. Valdez had broken into the woman's home and threatened her with a knife. Last year, a grand jury refused to indict Valdez. A second grand jury finally did indict him. He'll be sentenced on Friday, and he could get life in prison. For years, the medical procedures used to diagnose breast cancer were nearly as traumatic as the diagnosis itself. But that's all changing thanks to a little-known technology. In tonight's cover story, we meet a woman who's been through both methods firsthand. I have to cut a new one out for you. Caroline Murray is a woman who's seen both sides. She forever bears the scars of a standard open breast biopsy. It was quite painful for a long time afterwards, apparently when it's damp you can get a lot of discomfort as well. And naturally, I have a fairly large scar on the left side. And this is the uh, gun device. But by the time she needed a second biopsy, she joined a growing number of women who no longer have to go under the knife or risk general anesthesia. The new procedure, called stereotactic breast biopsy, can be especially helpful for women like Caroline who develop tiny calcium clusters in their breasts. This is the first area of concern, a nodule. With Some people have multiple suspicious areas in breasts, and um, it's can't be determined whether they're benign or malignant. So particularly for them who have to come back for multiple ones, this provides uh, an opportunity to have this study done without this breast deformity and the discomfort of the open biopsy. This new method uses computer coordinates and a special gun to help pinpoint the suspicious masses from a routine mammogram. The table allows radiologists to position patients for specific targeting of breast tissue. A hollow needle extracts the questionable tissue to be sent to the lab. A little solution in the... Essentially, this new technology helps doctors locate and pull out masses that are too small or too deep to feel. The needle will now come out and go all the way through here, and within that will be a little cutting device that will take a piece of tissue about like that. We can do several lesions in the same breast, for instance, at one time, if we find more than one, because, uh, again, in this instance, uh, we're only making a small little nick in the skin. Caroline says physically it was, was almost painless. It felt like a snapping band, really, rather than any kind of major pain. This is certainly a breakthrough. There's no question about that. The first time I was done as a lumpectomy, which was quite a major surgery with full anesthesia. This time around, we have this new procedure done, which is absolutely the best thing. Doctors recommend that all women get regular mammograms. And now that biopsies are simpler and less painful, doctors hope that women won't be fearful about getting the mammograms they need. We saw that needle. Are they able to anesthetize that? Locally. Does it hurt mm -hmm. still? She said it's, it felt like a rubber band snapping against her skin. Big improvement. Yeah. Up next, the loose ends are all tied up in knots. We'll show you how some of your neighbors are saying tennis. goodbye to their favorite TV show. Plus, we'll show you why fan is short for fanatic. That's ahead in sports. But when you're challenged like they are, you can hit. Channel 2 Action News is sponsored in part by your Toyota dealers of Southern California. $289 a month. Mm. Ah. And no down payment. Mm. Oh. Oh. Ah. Look at all you get. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the 1993 Toyota Camry lease. Ah. Ah. Everything you've heard is true. If Walmart hadn't brought our product back into the USA, we would have closed doors to 180 employees. And I need to work. They used to import these shorts, now we're making them right here in the USA. And our quality is, we'll put us against anybody. Kind of makes you feel proud to see something that you made. Well, I guess it's the pride that you feel that you have done your best. Working together, we're bringing it home. Making it in the USA. By American, please. The American goods mean American jobs. The Auto Club of Southern California knows that when someone's stuck in the middle of nowhere, it's not enough to just get there. You get there fast. To help the Auto Club respond even faster, Pacific Bell designed a custom 800 number that identifies where each call originates from and automatically routes it to the closest dispatcher. Obviously, both companies were inspired by the same idea. 
The Broadway two-day sale is bursting with savings save 20 to 50% store-wide. Shop Friday and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m., the two-day sale at the Broadway. This Friday, experience the seduction, the betrayal, and the passion in Map of the Human Heart, a mesmerizing romantic epic. I fell in love with a beautiful girl. I found out she was two-timing me. The first really great film of the year, Rave Siskel and Ebert. Two thumbs up, way up, for Map of the Human Heart. Don't miss this startling epic of seduction. Rated R, now playing at select theaters, starts Friday everywhere. For 14 years, their Thursday night routine was all set. And so fans of Knott's Landing settled in tonight to catch the end of their favorite show. Action News has more on the story right now, live on the scene in Beverly Hills with our Bill Smith. Bill? Uh, yes, Michael, it's a little quiet now, but not earlier. This apartment full of seemingly normal women spent the evening on the edge, a bittersweet night of Knott's. <laughs> You'll notice they are all in black, all in mourning for the death of Knott's Landing. Loyal followers here for 14 years. On this final night, what is it about this show? It makes my life look so easy. It's just fun. It's, it's real life. It's, it's enjoyable. I'm having a great I'm time. I'm sorry I have to tell you something. It's not real life. Well, for some people it is. Totally obsessed with Knott's Landing. Can you get over the obsession? I'm gonna have to. We're really depressed. It's even more depressing than my divorce. And as the final episode unfolded, these faces knew the clock was running out. What does he want us to do, wait for it to tick us into oblivion? Well, if not oblivion, reruns, because maybe they can't live without knots. It's going to be awfully tough. So here it was, their final knots night together. <laughs> With a fond, and don't you dare say foolish, farewell. We're gonna miss you. <laughs> and Michael, I guess I have to ask one final question. You saw the two hours. Was it worth it? Was it good or? Yeah! <laughs> and tomorrow it's back to the real world. Michael. Thought that was the real world. <laughs> <laughs> they thought so too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill. Coming up next, major celebrations in the fabulous forum. The Kings do something they've never done before. Jim Hill is coming up. Kurt McLean does what According to a study by the FCC, AT&T's market share of long-distance service in America is heading in a new direction. Long's Drugs is celebrating Disneyland's newest land, Mickey's Toontown, where you can experience Gadget's Go Coaster, Goofy's Bounce House, Chip and Dale's Treehouse, and the Jolly Trolley. And now at Long's, you can have Toontown for your very own. For a limited time at Long's Drugs, purchase any three of these Coca-Cola, M&M chocolate candies, and Kodak products, and get this collector's edition print absolutely free. Join the celebration and bring home the magic of Mickey's Toontown only at Long's Drugs. What's the new Gershwin musical comedy with the Tony Award for the best dancing on Broadway and the Tony Award for best musical of the year? It's crazy for you. And what's the best way to get tickets? Call Color Charge now! Just ask for the best musical from Broadway, Crazy For You, the new Gershwin musical comedy. 12 weeks only, June 2nd through August 22nd at the Schubert Theater in Century City. Fly non-stop on the world's most modern fleet, six times weekly from Los Angeles to Taipei. Then on to Singapore on our exclusive Megatop 747-400s. Singapore Airlines, you'll always be a great way to fly. Are you an AT&T salesman? Yes. Is your company telling customers that MCI's 800 service isn't reliable? Yes. Is that the truth? Yes. Discovered tomorrow after her first mammogram. 
thanks in part to an X-ray film created by DuPont. And for Mary Brody, early detection means a two-year head start on the rest of her life. At DuPont, we make the things that make a difference. Better things for better living. It's Maytag's 100-year anniversary sale. So we're giving away a $100 U.S. savings bond when you buy our Centennial Edition washer and dryer pair. Get a $50 bond on a Maytag dishwasher, or get a $50 bond on a new range. And get a $100 bond when you buy a Maytag refrigerator with its 10-year money-back guarantee. But hurry, this offer only comes up every 100 years. Even that works, for gosh sake. Hurry in and save on Maytag now at Baker & Wells Appliance, Chatsworth, Dirksen's Appliance, Artesia. Okay, so it's hard to beat a win in double overtime on foreign ice, but tonight was pretty spectacular sure too, was. right, Jim? Spectacular is indeed the word, as the Los Angeles Kings have done something that no other team in Kings history has done. That is advanced past the third round, and, you know, it will go down in Kings history as a marvelous, it's probably one of the greatest games in team history, with a trip to, with a chance, I should say, to go to the Campbell Conference Finals on the line. The Kings took a giant step towards the Stanley Cup Championship with a victory over the Vancouver Canucks in front of a wild and enthusiastic crowd here at the Forum. In the first period, the Kings start out very slowly as Charlie Huddy has shown the door right there. The Kings, in turn, showed Vancouver how to score first period. Rob Blake lets one rip from right in front of the goal, and it's right in two for one to nothing first period lead. In the second period, things really heated up. The Canucks' Gerald Diddick flips the puck at Kelly Rudy, but the rebound is accidentally knocked in off the skate of the Kings' Mike Donnelly. Vancouver tied the game at two games apiece, or two goals apiece, I should say, and that's when the Kings' offense really hit its stride. First, it was Yari Curry. Then, just moments later, Thomas Sandstrom is in the right place at the right time. He slaps in the rebound, 3-2. to two. And it goes to 4-2 to two in the second period. Wayne Gretzky chases down the puck, flips it to Sandstrom to Warren Reichel, who beats Kurt McLean, and the celebration is on for Reichel and the Kings. And to top it off, the great one gets the Kings' final goal. Los Angeles wins 5-3. to three. It's the first time in 26 years that the Kings have gotten to the Campbell Conference Finals. And with me now is one of the people responsible for the victory, uh, you know, Marty McSorley, when you came off the ice, you were just as cool, calm, and collected. You're keeping this whole thing in its proper perspective. Well, we started the playoffs with a real focus, and the focus was to go to the Stanley Cup. It's, we think it's great for the fans. The fans have supported us over the years, and they've been fabulous, but we're focused on going to the Stanley Cup. It was really amazing tonight. You are now part of King history. <laughs> well, it's great to be part of King history because everybody is so glad to be a king right now. Our guys are, are real pumped. Our team has come together. Well, just before the playoffs, all our guys became healthy, and now we're really ready to go. You were not intimidated by the larger event. Vancouver squad tonight. Well, our, our young guys have a lot of heart. Our young guys went to the dirty spots in the ice, in the corners, in the front of the net. They played very, very hard, and they kept bouncing back. It was the size of the heart in our guys tonight. How do you temper? How do you temper the excitement in that locker room and what's going to happen to you guys in the next few days? Well, I think there's an well, older player in the dressing room, and I think that you know I've had a chance to to win a couple Stanley Cups. I realize what it's taken. I've learned from some great players, and we have some great players in the dressing room. The young guys are really excited. The young guys are pumped. The young guys are playing so well. We're trying to keep them on a consistent level. It seemed like your squad just would not be denied tonight. No, you know, we, we didn't want to go back to Vancouver. We had to work very, very hard. We won two games in their building. At, uh, you know, we believe we're a good road team, but we wanted to win here. We wanted to show teams we can dominate in our own building. Does it make any difference who you play in the next round, Toronto or St. Louis? Well, in, in a sense, you know, there's a lot of hoopla in Toronto, the Canadian mm -hmm. press and everything. There's a lot of guys who are from the Toronto area. It'll be, a, it'll be a zoo, as to say. I think I'd rather play St. Louis. All right, Marty. Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you, Jim. Okay, Marty McSorley of the Los Angeles Kings. They advance to the third round of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time in 26 years. Okay, let's talk about some NBA playoffs tonight because it was Chicago taking on Cleveland. Michael Jordan was ineffective with a sprained left wrist, but his teammates surely were not. Horace Grant and Scottie Pippen picked up where Jordan left off. Grant scored 20 while Pippen pumped in 19 points. Chicago takes a two games to none lead in the best of seven series with a 104-85 victory. The scene now shifts to Cleveland, Ohio. Major League Baseball action in Cleveland. The Cleveland Indians, Albert Bell, didn't really appreciate getting drilled by a fastball from the Royals, Hippolito Picardo, and Albert tries to ring his bell. The Indian outfielder was then obviously kicked right on out of the game. And in New York, a near brawl in the Yankees-Brewers game, but this one isn't between the two teams. It involves the Brewers and the Yankee fans. Several Milwaukee players and coaches verbally square off with fans who are baiting the players, trying to get them to come up into the stands. But that absolutely did not work. But what did work was the Los Angeles Kings as they defeat the Vancouver Canucks by a score of 5-3. to three. The Kings advance now to the third round of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time in 26 years. Next up for the Kings, it will be either St. Louis or Toronto 
know that series, best of seven series, will begin next week. And that's a look at sports from, this, from the uh, forum tonight where it was really, really wild. Mm -hmm. You know, Joe, I was impressed by this. You ask a player which team he would rather face, and you never get a straight answer. McSorley gave yeah. you a straight answer. Yeah. That's, yeah. One, that's one of the great things I like about Marty. He will give you, he will tell you the truth, just like all the kings, well, most of the kings, but especially Marty. You ask him a straight question, he will give you a straight answer, and don't cross him, or he will give you a mm -hmm. cross check or something. Yeah. He makes a good interview. Sure does. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. This town is pumped about the Kings. Thank you very yeah. much, okay. Jim Hill. That wraps up this edition of Nightcast. We thank you very much for joining us tonight. Stay tuned now for Silk Stockings coming up next. From the entire Action News team, have a nice night and a good day tomorrow. Good night. Good night.